God's World News has been providing current events coverage that helps students live out the gospel. Our print and digital formats make it easy for kids to learn through news stories that are both factual and biblically sound. Good morning. It's Tuesday, March 15th. Thanks for joining us for Top Story today. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. Then head over to our full show for more news. Like one of the shortest sports retirements we've ever seen. And French fighter pilots taking on the delicate task of policing the skies around the Ukraine invasion. Now, this is Top Story. Michelle Schlaven reports on a family of four who were living in a train car and just moved into a new home. We're not talking about the boxcar children, are we, Michelle? No, this is a story about a family of tigers and how they're finally free from a heartbreaking situation. Lion's Rock Big Cat Sanctuary in South Africa has four new residents, a family of Bengal tigers. Here, one steps out of its transport container into its new home looking a bit unsure. For two of the tigers, it's likely the first time their paws have even touched grass. This train carriage was abandoned in Argentina 15 years ago, with two Bengal tigers inside. A traveling circus asked a local rancher to care for the animals in 2007 and then took off. Those owners never returned. The rancher provided for the tigers' most basic needs, giving them food and water, but that was about it. The animals received no other attention or medical care. The two tigers ended up mating in the cramped conditions and had two cubs. Now 10 years old, these tigers lived a decade, never having set foot outside the 800 square foot rail car. It's amazing that authorities claim they only became aware of the feline family in 2021, and that's when the search for a new home for the animals finally began. Four Paws International arranged the rescue, and all their planning came together in the last month or so. The actual move took place this last week. But before tasting freedom, the tigers had to step from one cage to another for transport. And this one even smaller. Hi, Frank. Just want to confirm once more. We have the four tiger inside already. And it was worth the tight quarters. After three days of travel, the tigers arrived at the Lions Rock Big Cat Sanctuary, where they now have the freedom to roam over four and a half square miles of natural enclosure. But even as the tigers now have room to run, the rescue team says the legacy of their confinement will linger. It will take time for the animals to adjust after so many years of trauma. Make sure to check out the full site at worldwatch.news. You can try out the show free for a month. March Madness is knocking at the door and we're inviting it in. Join our bracket contest and go head to head with the World Watch team and other viewers. Now just go to worldwatch.news slash bracket, fill her in before the first game tips off and you'll have a chance to win this. Okay, so it's not so impressive right now, but by the time the final buzzer sounds, this ball will be covered in autographs by all of us here at World Watch. And that's not the only prize. We'll also be giving away World Watch gear. Ready, set, go. And better hurry, brackets lock Thursday. And thanks for watching, everybody. I'm the Big Bash. Remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey. Does anybody know what Myrna did with my pocket squares?